it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul. It's another mystery box from Amelia. Well, it's not completely mysterious because I did open it and just kind of looked inside and uh, it, I think it's all textiles. We'll see once we get down to the bottom if there's any jewelry or anything. But um, And if there's not enough in one box, we'll open a second box, okay? So, I'm going to get started because this top thing looks very interesting. This looks like ecot, but it's a kind of ecot that I'm not really familiar with. It's a tablecloth, but I don't know where it comes from. Anybody have any ideas where that might come from? We'll have to send pictures to Amelia and say, more info please, unless she has notes. Sometimes she attaches notes, but I don't see any on this one. But, I'll let you see how pretty the ecot weaving is. Isn't that nice? Pretty, pretty colors. It's a beautiful tablecloth. Oh, I love it. That's really nice. Okay, let's see. What's the next piece? It's very pink. And this is... God, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh my word. It is. Could it be another tablecloth? Sorry, I know that the sunlight is like really splotchy and stuff. And, oh, it's another one of these tubes. Well, this would be an awfully big skirt. So I can't imagine you could make two or three skirts from this. Um, this is uh, clearly Asian, but I don't know exactly where. I'm, I'm not not super uh, familiar with it. But it's very pretty. It feels like um, cotton. And it's embroidered, I guess, or woven. Yeah, I think it's woven. Like brocade, kind of. Mm, not brocade, but woven. <laughs> I'm, I'm indecisive. What can I say? See, Muffin has joined us. Hi, Muffin. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Muffin says hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Go, go shed on something. Okay, what is this? This. This is embroidered. But again, kind of cross stitch. No, well, some, there's a few, some that's cross stitch. This, um, okay, show you the right side of it. This, like a little uh, table runner, I guess. And that's a, uh, that's a lot of work. I'm going to guess that's Asian, <laughs> but I don't know. Looks like it has some letters woven in or something. I don't know. That's really a pretty pattern. Okay, let's see. Now this looks American. This is a cross-stitch linen tablecloth. Great big one. And it's got bows and flowers. She hasn't sent me any of this in a long time. But, as you can see, it's a nice, a good size. It's a medium-sized tablecloth. Bigger than a card table, but not like a huge banquet style. Pretty. I'm looking to see, while I've got this good light, if there's any stains on it. And I don't see anything obvious. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Oh dear. What is this? This is very, very long. This is like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. 
Muffin has decided now is the time to play with her toy that she never plays with. This is a very, very long... <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you cut it into napkins? I don't know. But it, I've never seen anything this long. Wow. So, yeah, well, very, very long strip of fabric with printed flowers on it. Interesting. My gosh, this is just like yard after yard after yard. I have no idea what this is. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah. What's this? I'm just going to pause for a second. Sorry, I wanted to check and make sure my camera was actually recording video because I know it's almost out of batteries. This is has a tag. The tag says something, oh, says Couture Nature Paris by Brina Lowry or something like that. Hmm. Well, it's, um, hmm. I don't know what this is. A little uh, table mat, I guess. Something. Or maybe it's a dishcloth. It could be used for a dishcloth. It's really pretty. It's fairly... Hmm. I need new dishcloths. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This... is... I think... Oh, this has a tag on it. Yay. Okay, this is Molly Indigo Dogun fabric tie dyed. Okay. Thank you, Molly. She actually went to Molly on a textile trip. She said it was really, really interesting. Oh, well, that's beautiful. It's quite nice. It's very thick, yummy. You can see. Very tiny, tiny tie-dyed. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right. This. Oh. Don't want to get the label separated from the textile. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't know what it is. I'm feeling quite ignorant with this batch, not recognizing them. It looks like it's hand woven something. Tablecloth, table runner. It's very small for a tablecloth, but um, it's lovely. Show you how pretty the weaving is. Um, it's ecot, I guess. You can tell by the little jagged edges. I guess it's ecot. Hmm. Okay. And let's see. This appears to be some napkins embroidered. There's that embroidery and that embroidery. It's an interesting color. And looks like we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six napkins. And I probably should wait before I list them and see if there's a tablecloth in another box. Um, okay, I don't think that's enough, so I'm going to open another box. 
Okay, so uh, the second box appears to be all textiles as well. This is an Ecot uh, table runner, I think. And I believe this is, in fact I'm almost positive this is, um, Indonesia. Look, it's got, I think that's like a face. That's pretty cool. It's got people on it. And, a, and this is like, like a flower. Ecot, in case you don't know, is where they dye the thread before they weave the fabric, so they have to know where to dye it to make the pattern come out right. And I don't understand how that's done. But, anyway. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oops, two pieces. Okay, so this is woven. Oh my goodness, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Well, I'm going to guess this is also Southeast Asia. Look at the intricate pattern on that. And the colors are wonderful. I love these colors. Woohoo! Oh, that's nice. And, this it dropped out. It's a little table mat. I really don't know where this comes from, but it looks like it's all hand woven. Yep. Wow. I don't know how they do that where it barely shows on the back. But it's like a little uh, placemat, but it's only one, but it's awfully pretty. This is a dish towel, kitchen towel, or you could you could put it in a, like a guest bath. It's a pretty linen towel with blue crochet edging, and it's got some drawn work on the bottom there, and on this side also. Oh, that's pretty. And look, we have another little towel. <laughs> this has got some little dancers. Um, maybe this comes from India. That, that, that would be my guess. Those look like little Indian dancers. Uh, sweet. Um, this is Indian shisha work, little tiny mirrors, lots of mirrors on this, and cowrie shells. Uh, these are some decorative items. I don't know what they are, <laughs> but they're interesting. this is. Could this be Mexico? Or I think this might be Mexico. Or Guatemala. Or somewhere down there. These are birds. I love this. Now what is this? This is... Oh! Okay, it's labeled. We'll have to see if I'm right. This is a, a very nice um, tablecloth. Table runner. More like a table runner, I guess. Pretty. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I guess right. Guatemala weaving. I was going to say, Me I mean, I said Mexico first, but Guatemala was my second guess. Okay. Ah, this is quite interesting. This, I'm going to guess this is Africa, but 
Here's a piece of paper. This one says, Authentic Mud Cloth Molly. I got it right. Woohoo! I'm trying to learn. The more, the more you know about what you're listing, the better you can describe it. Oh, this was made on an extremely narrow loom. Oh my goodness. You can't see it on this side, but you can see it on the back side. The loom is only like this wide. The seam is right there. There's another seam right there. Wow. This is awesome. And that's going to be really, really old. Hand woven on a tiny, tiny loom. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. It's a very large piece too. Okay. This is more ikat. Hold on. I gotta put my little tag in here so I don't lose it. Okay. Because, you know, weeks from now when I'm looking at this, I won't remember. <laughs> I won't, I'll have to go back to the video and find it. <laughs> okay, this is a large piece of cloth, of ecot woven cloth. Um, I don't know where this is from. It's got those stripes there. Um, a piece of paper. I'm afraid to guess, so I'm not going to. Uh, she didn't know either. She says, Guatemala question mark. Oh, it's a beautiful pattern though. Look how pretty that pattern is. And the colors are so bright. Wow. I'm guessing this is Africa also. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. But is it African? Uh, I don't know. Um, nope, I, I got this one totally wrong. It's Indonesia dress. This is a dress. Here. Hmm. Oh, it's a tube. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, it is a fabric tube ready to be made into a dress, or maybe, um, maybe it's worn. Um, and wrapped somehow like this. I, I bet that's it. I bet it's wrapped somehow when you wear it, so this is, this is actually a dress. But, huh, good luck to me trying to dress my mannequin. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Um, hold on. Don't give up on me. We have... A mola. This is from Panama, I know that. And it's got a frog. That's really cute. Oh, this is like not as old as some of the others, I don't think. The colors are very bright, but it's cute. A frog. Ah. Oh. scarf or shawl, I think. It's very lightweight. Yeah, yeah, it's like a shawl. 
Um, I'm guessing this is going to be Indonesia, I think. I, I think. I don't know. It's beautiful though. It feels like um, silk also. Nice. Got fringe on it. Oh, pretty. Okay. This one says Indonesia wrap skirt. Okay. So, there's another one of these great big pieces of fabric. It's a tube. So, yeah, it's the same. But it's not as long as the other one, so I can see how this would be more of a skirt. But wow, look at this. This has got, it's shisha work, but she says it's Indonesia. I usually think about that being from India or Pakistan. But it otherwise looks, um, looks fairly Asian. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's beautiful. I'll have to figure out a way to put it on my mannequin and display it. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's two boxes worth. You get two boxes for the price of one. Uh, all of these items soon will be in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com or in my craft, the fabric, anything that's just plain fabric will go into my uh, craft shop, which is karenlebo.etsy.com. And if you're interested in something and you can't find it in my store and you want me to list it sooner, let me know. I can move things up to the top if I know people are interested in them. Okay, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do just usually a couple of videos a week. Um, comment, because I love comments, and share. And that is it. I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!